and this is just another one I'm kind of having fun with. You can see boxy arms right here, you know, flex the bow and point the arrow, right? So what I mean by that is I'm not into archery, but if I'm shooting a bow and arrow and just like a, a, a guy that shoots improperly, if I've got my right elbow tucked into my hip or to my side, I can't aim the arrow the right way. But as soon as I get that up, just like when you shoot, you get your elbow up and you're flexing the middle of the shaft. Now I can point that arrow into the right spots and it's going to make me more of an efficient shooter. So this is just some fun stuff to get guys to get it. All right. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to walk through JT Comfort, just doing some technical shooting in stride. So this is an older video, but I really, really like it because this sequence of the three videos you're going to see, it happened in about 15 seconds, right? We went from one thing of him failing. He's super frustrated with me. I'm trying to help him. And then he figures it out. And then it gives a great example of him having some success later on in the season where he scores a goal and the announcer's pumping his tires about his release. But I'm going to play this twice. And the first time, like he's trying to push the puck in stride. So we talk about how we could use the language of coaching to help JT figure this out. So right there, you can see he's struggling a little bit. So the reason he's struggling is where he places the puck. He goes backhand to forehand and he's used to pulling in the puck. At this point in his career, he hadn't been introduced to pushing the puck in stride. So basically what he does is he pulls the puck out like he's gonna pull it in, but he doesn't set it up with his backhand properly. The puck should be laid about right here, all right? So take the player aside, you gotta communicate with them, try and help them figure it out and explain to him why this is relevant. Now we're just kind of walking through it. You can see that Superman look when I'm demoing it. So now I'm just telling JT where to push on the shaft and then how to place it properly, right? So he's still figuring it out, still figuring it out. And then right here, this is where the light bulb's gonna go on. See how he places that puck in front of his right foot? so that he can kind of come around it with a semi-circle and then get that Superman look and jump into that shot. This is what allows him to have success. Now he's got that look, figures it out, sets it up again, and then he's gonna pop it off. So then this is the next rep. Comes down, takes a great shot. 